When you're trading securities, you want to have a plan, right? And part of your plan is having rules, you know, having rules and guidelines around your plan. So let's talk about trading rules. So first off, well, what do we mean by trading rules? And really a trading rule is the action you're going to take, a buy or sell, for example, you take when certain conditions, and that's your indicators, are met. It's part of your overall trading plan. So they can be, these trading rules can be very simple or very complex. You know, like for example here, uh, let's say we're going to buy when the price moves above the 20 day simple moving average line, right? It's an easy indicator to understand. It's a simple rule. You buy when this happens. Or it could be like sell half of my holdings when the price crosses below the 10 day simple moving average and the other half when it crosses below the 20 day simple moving average. See how we've added some rules as far as how we'll adjust our behavior buying and selling, but it's a little bit more complex in bullet point two versus bullet point one. And they can involve one indicator or a primary and second confirming indicator, which is good, or multiple indicators. The idea is you're building out your plan and building out rules that support your plan. And so when you think of that, you're looking at two really big things. You're looking at the indicators you'd use, your tools, but you're also looking at your risk profile, you know, how much risk and how much profits you want to take or how much loss you want to avoid, right? And when you look at those together, your indicators and your risk profile, that's going to, what's going to help you develop your trading rules around that. And again, you can paper trade this and back test it to see, help develop comfort levels around that too as well. Uh, paper trading, of course, with with fake money to basically practice. But the big idea here is I'm looking at my indicators and they're not in a vacuum. I'm also have to understand myself as a trader and as a, in my own risk profile, as far as how do I react when there's sometimes losses, for example. Now, when you're building these training rules, you know, sometimes you might be like, uh, well, I just know my risk profile. If we're talking about risk profile here, for example, well, I just know, I know I'm a Wild-eyed, crazy, I'll take any risk trader, or I, I might know I'm a little bit more cautious type of trader. So you might just know, uh, though, uh, you know, and a better way to do it is maybe you do like an online survey, right? You can just kind of do like, tr you know, put in a search engine trading risk profile or, or whatever, and you usually come up with these online surveys, and it'll you answer some questions, and it'll multiple choice questions, and it'll spit back and say, you're this type of risk profile, and you can kind of interpret that and maybe confirm how, what you might feel in your gut that you just know. Another good way, and actually a better way, is actually when you get to that point is actually paper trade and start seeing what the losses would be like, but also what the gains would be like, how successful is your system, or how you put together your trading rules and your indicators putting it all together, and that, that you're feeling comfortable doing all this. That's where paper trading is so important, to get comfortable before you actually do real live trading. And that's really the last step here where you really determine your risk profiles when you're trading real money your money, you know, when you're trading real money, you know, that's, that's when you really get a feel for your risk profile. It's, it's easy to be, it's easier to be risky when it's not your money. It's just fake money. It's, um, you know, on a computer screen. It's another thing when like it's your own real money. So you, as you build up these trading rules, again, you're looking at your indicators and your risk profile and that'll develop, both of those will develop over time and with practice and that's all okay.